Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a big parcel that's just been delivered by the postman and I thought let's strike while the iron's hot and absolutely everything is hot at the moment because we're still having a heat wave in the UK and I'll show you what I've got. So this is uh, a huge hopefully diamond painting related package so we'll have a look at that one last um, but I'll just quickly show you I'll just quickly show you, oh my goodness, that's not a good start to the uh, unbagging, is it? I'll just quickly show you uh, some of the little other bits and pieces that I've got, because you know what I'm like, if I'm doing an order, uh, I order lots of other bits and pieces as well. So this, um, I have opened these because I wanted to know what they were so I can tick them off the list. I think I've more or less got everything now from uh, AliExpress, um, all the different, th oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know you got those with you as well. Okay, uh, yeah, these are like silicon um, finger protectors, I'm going to say. No rude comments, please. Uh, they're very good, actually, if you're using a hot glue gun. If you have ever used a hot glue gun and put something on uh, and put the glue on and then gone to put your embellishment on and the embellishment's moved and you've put your finger directly into hot glue from a hot glue gun then yeah you need these <laughs> I've done it several times um I don't think they'd ever catch me if I committed a crime because I think most of my fingerprints have come off <laughs> from using hot glue guns but yeah that's what these are um they're also i mean they're ever so long to be honest usually you just get ones that are like this size um and they're more used the banks used to use them for counting cash you know before they had all these machines and everything they'd just sit and go through their cash and flick through and count with their cash but yeah i didn't actually know that i was going to get those five finger protectors as well uh, very useful for crafting to be fair um, I did used to have sort of the smaller ones but they do eventually wear out and they do burn as well so I, they don't seem as thick as the ones that I used to have um, you've probably seen them you know if you go in like stationers and things like that they have them they're usually as I say about that size and uh, yeah they just go on the end of your finger rather than the whole finger I'm not quite sure why there like that but anyway so we've got five of those but this is what i wanted um this is actually a scraper and you know when i was taking the double-sided tape off that double-sided tape canvas so i could put the poured glue on it um and i ended up with blisters on my fingers from doing it i thought this would be really really handy for doing that job it's I mean, it's they say it's a slicer, to be fair. It's like in the kitchen section on AliExpress. Um, this is a little bit big for me, actually, as well. I suppose you could, it fits my thumb, but it's a little bit big for my finger. But yeah, you'll be able to just scrape up. Let's get that. Oh, look, it's going to scrape the glue off my desk. <laughs> Can you tell I've been sealing stuff? So yeah, I mean, it's not really sharp i'm not cutting myself by running my finger over it so it's not like you've got a really sharp blade but with enough pressure that i don't know whether yeah you are going to be able to scrape which is um off the double-sided tape from a canvas which is what i bought it for so yeah we'll maybe give that a go if i come across something that i need to do but um i've not got the price of this one i think it was only Again, they're never very much money, these things, when you see them. I will put the links down below uh, for these bits. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to get those as well. Uh, but hey-ho. But yeah, this is uh, why I order it. Because I thought, aha, something to get that double-sided tape off. So yeah, but they will be handy for when I'm using my glue gun. Uh, that's if I remember to use them. Okay, so that's little purchase number one. Um, I'll, oh, I'll just put all those over there for now Right, what was this one? Um, oh yeah, it's got to have a Scotty dog in it if it's coming there from me This was just a little, it's actually a hair slide But I think I'll probably turn it into a cover minder 
um, just a little Scotty dog. I just like the colours. Uh, oh yeah, it's a grip. It's got one of the little hair clips on it. Just like a little uh, grip there. But I thought it was just so pretty. I loved the colours and its little sparkly collar and everything. So it looks like it's been used for, uh, made from like melted different bits of coloured plastic, which is quite sweet. And that's sort of fairly um, stuck on, but I'm sure I can get that off in this hot weather. All glue is melting at the moment, so I'll probably easily get it off. And then I'll just put a little magnet on the back and I'll make myself a little Scotty dog cover minder. Yay! Or it'll go on my yeah, little notice board that is absolutely full of Scotty dog items. So that's item number two. Uh, I hope you like looking at these bits and pieces that I get. I know I like looking at other people's shopping, but then I am very, very nosy. <laughs> and these are then a couple of Scotty Dog stickers all ready for when we get our new car. Yay! So at the moment, I've got um, Scotty Dogs on the back of uh, our car that we've got now. Oh, look, I've got a little free gift with it as well. Thank you very much. Oh, look, a little chihuahua. Hey, Emma Casey, I'll uh, send that one to you, look. It's a little Luna, <laughs> little chihuahua. Oh, how sweet is that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, so um, I'll put a link to Emma's channel down below. Uh, she's a fantastic artist and does actually uh, draw and paint her own diamond paintings and have them printed out on uh, prism diamond painting and you can go to prism diamond painting and buy them so yeah go and check her out but uh, she's got a lovely youtube channel as well i think it's emma casey loves craft i'll put it on the screen and i'll put the link down below as well but yeah she's another one of our little group that we uh, all chat to on a regular basis but she has a couple of little chihuahuas uh so yeah go and check her out she has actually got a diamond painting with the uh, chihuahuas on it as well so yeah okay but uh, we're all about the scotties here so oh this one looks quite a good oh yes so that one will go on the probably the back of my uh window ledge um on the back window you can't really put them on a window that winds down because you'll end up you know it'll, it'll come off it'll catch it and come off but yeah, if you put it on your back window, it just looks like you've got a Scotty dog looking out the back window. Which, to be fair, Millie, our little Scotty dog, does come with us to most places. So you probably will find another Scotty dog sat next to it looking out the window as well. <laughs> uh, this one's a little bit dark, a little bit disappointing, I'm afraid. It's supposed to be one of those that's busting out from, you know, it's supposed to be like twisted metal. And it's supposed to be busting out from the back of the car. But that is so dark. Whether it'll fade having it on the back of the car, I don't know. But uh, we'll maybe use it and see. But yeah, I think they've just got the um, darkness. Oh, hmm. Yeah, it just needed uh, lightening up a bit, that one. It didn't look like that on the picture. Uh, but that's the chances you take. Uh, but yeah, it says it's 8 by 4 inch. Uh, so yeah you know they are what they are uh, just for a couple of pounds but i thought as soon as we're getting the new car i'm gonna have some new scotty dogs to go on it because i don't think i'll get the old ones off they've been on for over a year now and um, they tend to get a bit overstuck and when you take something off it never really goes back on again properly does it so yeah that will be our scotty dogs for the car and our little scotty dog cover minder that i'm going to make so yeah that's all the extra bits and pieces i got with lots of packaging goodness me i think they were all from different sellers oh has this one got oh what have I... oh look oh right oh 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 this one came with a scraper oh so this one's for flattening it down so when you put it on the car this will flatten it down but uh, that's actually quite a nice can see that quite a nice thin edge that's going to be quite good for straightening diamonds as well and i may able to be a her i may even speak less i may even be able to scrape off some of that uh, double-sided tape with that as well so wow well, well, that was quite a good buy then so i just noticed i, I usually do actually um check the bottom of my bags and for whatever reason i didn't on that one 
so yeah just double check those before i put them out of the way and we've got a nice oh it's still got the sealer on it as well there bag got a, yeah. Ooh. so i'm going to put both of these stickers in this bag keep them nice and clean and Ellie, you'll have to let me know if you want this sticker. I don't think it's really cute. Um, I can use it, but uh, I think it would be uh, probably better with a little home with somebody that's got a little chihuahua. They'll appreciate it. Yay! Okay. Right, let's put those out of the way a second. I definitely could do with a bigger desk. Put that over there. Now then, this is the parcel that I want to get into because this is uh, some new storage, hopefully, and we all like diamond painting storage. You can never have enough. So I've ordered one that you've possibly seen before and one that's just a little bit different. You know what I like? I like to go hunting and see uh, what there is and what other things there are. Like the lipstick cases that I've got that hold the bottles. This is going to be hopefully similar to that kind of thing. Okay, so that's one and that's two. And I don't think this is what I ordered. Oh no! Okay, right, let's see. If it's not, I shall be upset. It won't be going back. I don't want to be sending things back. Uh, it's probably my mistake for not reading things correctly. Uh, let's see, let's see. Please be what I ordered. Please be what I ordered. It's my second attempt actually at ordering the correct one of these. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed, but I think I can see it's not. It is, it is, it is what I ordered. Yay! It is. Okay, so we've got a lovely little storage case and it's got the square cases in it. Yes, this is what I thought I'd ordered last time when I ordered and I ended up with those that I couldn't open. <laughs> if you remember that video, I'd... apparently on those ones, you don't try and open them from the lid. You actually squeeze the sides of them and they pop open. Uh, a lot of people did tell me that one so thank you for telling me um, and I do appreciate if you do comment if I do something wrong or you think I could do something better um, you know or how you use things then please tell me because we're all here together to learn aren't we and you do learn something new every day so yeah but look at these they're like the double tic tac tic uh, tac containers but they're square Look at that, so I wanted to try some square containers for a change. So, oh, they're all different ways. Oh, this is gonna drag, sorry, I'm just gonna have to put these the right way around. I can't be doing with things messy. Everything has to be lined up in an order, sorry. <laughs> Don't be doing this to me. Get these lined up and then I'll count how many are in it. But oh, when I first saw it, uh, through the packaging I thought it's going to be the little tic tac containers again and they're not what I wanted, I wanted the square ones I want to give them a try and see what they're like I do like my bottles uh, the tic tac containers were okay um, but I found that I couldn't get my pen in them now whether I'll be able to get my pen in these or not I don't know I think I'm still going to have to take the lids off to uh, get my pen in sorry I know this is probably very boring for you to watch me struggling putting these all back the right way around but i do want them the right way around i can't be sat looking at them talking about them when they're all higgledy piggledy we all have to go the right way come on turn this way that's it is it just me that likes everything in order they're not sitting flat what's at the bottom of here oh it's ridged oh that's not very good so okay yeah that that's a bit wobbly i suppose at least they're all in the containers so what have we got one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five five eights is 40. so oh that's handy it's a 40 storage container so those paintings that are just slightly over 30 where you don't want to go into a 60 case 
then you can use these because it's 40. Yay, I think that's why I ordered it. They do come smaller and bigger. Oh, we've got some nice round uh, stickers there that will go on it as well. So let me have a look at my note. So this is a 40 square bottle container. It's come from the Yeo Shan District store. Uh, it has taken a long, long time to come, but you know it is what it is. It's come from China. It's had a long way to come, uh, and this cost me fourteen pound seventy two, including. Oh no, it didn't. Sorry, I do beg your pardon. The two items that I got got cost me fourteen pound seventy two, including taxes, and it was free shipping. This was ten pounds sixty eight. I do believe. So it's a good price. I'm just a little bit disappointed with the case, to be honest. Just let me just tip it up and show you. Oh, it's nice fastening. It hangs up as well if you're wanting to hang it anywhere. I'm not quite sure why you would want to. Maybe it's slack of storage. But look, it's got this, it's got like a handle grip. As it's got this grip, if you can see at this side, like a finger grip at that side. It's got a finger grip at that side as well. So rather than having a handle, which is possibly why it's cheaper, I know you've got this little bit here, but if it had a handle, then it wouldn't need the finger grips to pick it up. And then this bottom would be completely flat. So that's a few points off for that because it's making the bottles not stand nice and neatly, which isn't good, don't like that. Okay, so let's give them a quick measure. My tape measure. I do believe my tape measures like to hide from me. And I have three now because I've got one that I bought and then another one that I bought. And No, I've got one that I lost and then one that I bought to replace it. My lovely friend Chris uh, bought me a new one, which is this one. And then I found the one I'd lost. Um, and today I can still only find one. <laughs> so let's measure the case first. This is a nice case. It's a good solid case. Once that is fastened, those drills, oops, aren't going to be coming out. You know, you can pick it up and it's quite solid. It's a good solid case there. But as I say, I just don't like this bit. Don't like this wobbly bit in the middle. It's not hurting anything and it's not going to do anything to the drills. It's just driving me a bit crackers. <laughs> Right, so, oh, we were measuring the case, weren't we? Liz, what are you doing? I'm still blaming the weather. Okay, <laughs> it's exceptionally humid today. Right, so it's nine inches that way, which is 23 centimetres by eight, sorry, six and a quarter centimetre. Oh, start again, Liz. Six and a quarter inches, which is 16 centimetres. And the depth on it is, let me see, let me see, two and a half inches, which is roughly, where are we, six, six and a half centimetres-ish. Not quite accurate, that one, but it's close enough. Okay, just gives you an idea. Um, so these containers, uh, height-wise, are two inches, which is roughly five centimetres by width wise is one and a bit inches which is two and a half centimeters ish and then across the top is one and not quite one and a quarter uh, inches which is about two and three quarter centimeters so the sock they're supposed to be square aren't they 1.1 inches by 1 inches. Okay, so they're not quite square, um, but they're a good little container. And I bet they hold quite a bit. Let me just grab some drills and we'll have a look. Right, this is one of my diamond paintings, or from one of my diamond paintings. I'm going to be kitting up next. Um, okay. And it's my lovely peppermint cream green colour. Reminds me of Fry's peppermint creams. Right, unfortunately, this is a painting actually I've had uh, a long time. And they are in the 200 bags. 
So let's see how many 200 bags we can get in here. And I think a lot is going to be the cry. So if you've got a 40 or a diamond painting that's got a lot of drills or a 40 colour diamond painting, cut the bags that way. If you cut the bags that way, so I have been told this by uh, one of my followers, subscribers, um, to do it that way so that you're actually using the bit there so you haven't got these flappy bits. I'm not explaining that very well, am I? Try again, Liz, yeah. So if you cut it across ways so that the bit where it's folded over, you're actually using that bit to pour, you don't end up with the drills spilling so much. <laughs> Famous last words. So yes, yeah, so, I mean, my automatic thing is to push them all down to the bottom and cut across that way, but then you end up with these flappy bits at the side. So if you do them that way, and cut across that way. I have just stabbed myself with the scissors. Fortunately, I've not drawn blood. That wouldn't be a good look. She says nearly spilling all the drills. Oh dear. Right, anyway, so let's count up 600. I'll keep the packet so we can see where we are. This will make my uh, kitten up of this one that I'll be doing uh, soon. A little bit quicker. Okay, and then that's another 200. Gosh, there's hardly a dent in this is there wow i know they don't uh, always come in these bags but quite often you can do it automatically look you can get an inventory sheet um and it will tell you how many drills you've got and some paintings do tell you the quantity or on the bags or the packets how many there is in them so it will give you an idea of uh, whether they will fit in these pots or not i'm just not used to doing it this way around look Okay, so where are we up to now? Is that a thousand? Oh, I think I lost one there. No, no, I didn't. I'm seeing things now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's twelve hundred. Oh, these are going to hold a lot more than the bottles. Then the bottles, I think I got between seven and eight packs. So that was like between fourteen hundred and sixteen hundred gems in the little screw top bottles. And then this, oh, she says, I've just spilt those all over. It's holding a lot more. So, oh, Please, I've got these. I like getting new storage. I might have been better using a different tray so I could see them a bit better. <laughs> it is a little bit dark today, isn't it? Um, we've not had any sun whatsoever today, but the humidity level is still really, really high. The temperature is in the high 70s so i think we'll reach 80 again today um but yeah it's one of those days we've had a little bit of rain as well and i think we'll um it's one of those days where you put a coat on and uh, you get as wet on your coat on the outside from the rain as you do from perspiring inside of it you know oh, a horrible sweaty yucky day yuck 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 oh, do it that way i've been doing all the others the other way and now I just automatically go to cut that top bit. Okay, so what are we up to now? Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's 2,000 drills we've got in there and we've still got a little bit of space. That is excellent. I'm hoping for a really big thunderstorm. If it does start thundering, I'll have to cut this short because uh, we'll need, I'll need to go and see Millie Mo, bless her, because she doesn't like thunder. I think I've mentioned before. Um, yeah, she's all right with fireworks, but she just does not like thunder at all. So I'll have to go and comfort her. Hubby's downstairs, but he's uh, not brilliantly well today, so he's asleep. So, right. So where are we up to now? Still two in there. We're up to 2,400. Wow. Hey, these are going to be really good. If you've got a couple of these little cases, if you're doing one of your really big paintings, you're going to get a lot of drills in these. I'm just hoping that the lids are really secure because it's a lot of drills to lose if you drop them all over the floor. I think we'll definitely get another one. Okay, I might just kit this kit that I'm doing up in this one because <laughs> I've practically done all these. It's nearly got all these colours. Wow. Okay. Just, I think, oh, now then, putting that one in, I might not be able to get the lid on properly. 
So where are we up to now? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Two thousand eight hundred drills. Uh, you could possibly get more, but I'm just a bit worried that the lid's not going to go on. So yeah, I would say probably one less than that. That is too full. So 2,800, I would say is too much. I would stick to maybe 2,600 or below. So what's that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, four. So there's 14 packets. I would maybe stick to like 12, 13 packets at the most. So let's see how they pour out. Okay, not bad, not bad. Maybe pour it from the side would be better. Okay, so that's not bad. Let me just get rid of these bits. I do like to give these things a full road test rather than just showing them because I want to know how they work. And you do have to have them working. There you are. Oh gosh, that's a little bit tight, but that's not bad. I've managed to take the lid off without them all escaping. And then just pour them back in. Okay, nice wide top to pour them back in. Now then, that one's just escaped, but that's possibly my pouring and my tray. So let's just try that again. Oops, put that lid back on. They are, it does click down. They do feel quite secure. Oh, I'm doing this with my eyes closed and praying. <laughs> Don't want the lid to come off. And um, they have got the little, oh, and that's just pinged them all over everywhere. So you do need to be careful if you've got them really full. I'm hoping I've got a lot of spare of these. See if they'll pour back in. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can get your spout into the lid, so that's not bad. But I'm not going to be able to get a chunky pen into there. Um, if you're wanting to pick up extra drills, let me just just got a little owl on the side here. Yeah, so you can pick them up if they're near the top, but if they're getting near the bottom, your drills, you're not going to be able to pick it up. So, so that's my little judgmental owl watching me with his hands on his hips, look saying, well, I knew you were going to spill those. <laughs> Do you know what, Mr. Owl? So did I. <laughs> okay, so, yep. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the amount you can get into these. That is really good. Say more than the little round ones. How do they compare to the round size? Let me have a look. Oh, yeah, you can see, actually. Yeah, you can see that although they're about the same height, it's the width. They are, uh, yeah, quite a bit wider there, look. You've got all that extra. And with it being square, you do get more in a square than a round. So, yeah, most impressed with that. Okay, and this is my little 30 by 30 case. So how does that... Yeah, I mean, it's got 40 in it rather than 30. But, uh, yeah, you can see it's actually about... Oh, you can't really see that at all, can you? Let me uh, put something underneath it, if that goes underneath it. Is that better? So this is the edge. That's... that's uh, that's flat up to that edge there. The edges here are more or less the same. Oops, we just the edges here, here and here are more or less the same width. You've just got about just measure that. About an inch and a quarter, about three centimetres. So the footprint is just slightly bigger and the depth is practically the same there as well so yeah i'm impressed with this i think i'm gonna have to get some more of these or at least another one so it has taken quite a while to come but uh yeah i'm uh, i'm quite impressed with this and so i wanted a square one i got that little one that won't very it was like half the size of these and i just couldn't up. <laughs> Right, let me just uh, get all those little packets there. I'll put those in there. Okay, put those out of the way. I'll put my tape measure on the top there to keep them in place. What's that come off? Oh, I've got a little bit of plastic here. So something has broken. Something has, I don't think it's, oh, the, oh look. After all that, did I do that? Did I catch that with something? My little container's just caught the edge looking brutal. Did I do that? I know I heard a crack, 
but I didn't think I'd done enough to crack the edge. I'll have to watch my video back. But yeah, I've um oh there's a little green thing there. Yeah, I've just taken a little part of my corner off my container. Oh dear. Unless it already was cracked, maybe. Oh yeah, you can see it's got quite a big crack down there. I can't think that I've done it. Did I do it closing it? Oh well. But anyway, I still like it. It's still going to keep my drills uh, as long as it still closes properly. Just put that in there for now so I don't lose it. I can maybe stick it back on. Yeah, it's not going to affect the drills. But yeah, did I do that? Am I stronger than I think? Oh, it's cracked right up there. Look as well. Oh, uh, that must. I think that must have happened in transit. Well, I didn't notice it. Did I really do that? Strange. Okay, I say I'll have to watch the video back and have a look. <laughs> okay, so that's our little fourteen storage container. Oh, there's another bit there. Look as well. Oh no, that's the same bit. He's dropped out the bottom. <laughs> How funny in that corner. <laughs> Oh dear me. I'm blaming the heat. I'm still blaming the heat. Right, so then this is just something a little bit different. And it's storage for little trays. But it's the inside of one of the cases. You know, to put your bottles in and it also fits tic tac containers as well so you know when you buy cases it's all got a bit squished i think you can see there you can sort of see through so sorry it's a little bit dark okay so it's for tic tac containers and bottles and i just thought i wonder if i can use it without having a case you know um how i use like my little lipstick stand that I kit up on too. I wonder if I could use one of these um, to kit into. Uh, I didn't really want it with this side. I suppose I could always cut it in half once it's straightened itself out a bit. Uh, but yeah, so this side fits little Tic Tac containers. Okay. And then this is my little Tic Tac. This is my 64 Tic Tac container. So I have used it, but I still go back to my bottles. And then this side fits the bottles. So I just thought I could use that on my desk uh, rather than having it in a case. Because, I mean, you, you can take these um, foam pieces, you can take them out of your case. Is that the same? Yeah, it's the same depth. The same. This has just got really, really squished coming through the post. So it is exactly the same as one of these. Um, and so it will just be like using one of these. So how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it's a 30 storage that side. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40. Yeah, so we're 70 in total. So hmm, that's quite good as well, really, because it's just slightly more than your 60. <laughs> of course, 70 is more than 60, Liz. Duh. Uh, but it's not like getting, because I know you get those like double cases that have got the over 100 in. Uh, and I think they're quite clunky and quite big. So, yeah, quite liking that. And if you look on uh, AliExpress, you can buy all these separately as well. So you don't have to use the ones that you've already got in cases. You can buy them separately uh, and just use them that way. And this cost me £4.03. and pence. So yeah, I just thought I'll probably give this a go. But I think I may cut it in half, to be fair. Once it's all straightened itself out of it and uh, got to its full size. It's like when you get a new pillow or a new quilt. You know, <laughs> it's got to expand out and relax itself uh, i may no i'll leave it as it is and then i may just put something on top of it just to straighten it out a little bit or i may fill it up actually that might be a better idea to fill it up and then it'll uh, stretch it all out so i'll do that off camera uh, and then just let it sort itself out a little bit uh, where did that come from there oh and they're all the wrong way around as well i'm not looking at that one i'm not looking at that one <laughs> Okay, 
so yeah for four pound well four pound three pence i think that's pretty good and again it's 40 of your tic tac containers if you like using them and i do find i do you know me i like my smaller paintings 30 by 40 i do a lot of um i do do quite a few foot there I do do quite a few um, 40 by 50s as well. And sometimes they're like 30 something colours. Uh, so you need a 40 storage container. And as I say, I don't always want to use my 60 just for something that's just over 30. Uh, so yeah, having that with a 40 in will be quite good. So I've got two 40 storage containers really there. An extra 30 and another 40. Uh, you will have to obviously be careful with it because it's not in a container. I mean, I suppose you could always, if you've got a box of your own, any sort of box really, you could put these inside them. It doesn't have to be one of the little cases. You know, any box would do, even like a little photo box or um, if you've got uh, Christmas presents. I know you get uh, chocolate boxes. Do people still get chocolate boxes? um or if you've got any like toiletries at christmas sometimes come in really nice boxes and you think oh, this is too nice to throw this box away what am i going to do with it so you could put it inside one of those just keeps it a bit more stable and keeps something under the bottom albeit on certainly on these uh, screw top lids the lids should stop it from falling through but if it's in a box it just makes it a little bit more secure but yeah so i'm really pleased with those buys so we've got uh, our lovely storage cases, which she says trying to open it and it's already open. <laughs> with our labels there. And we've put our little gems in there as well. Okay, so yeah, 40, that's good. And then we've got this foam uh, inner of a storage container. And then I've got my little Scotty dog. Look at that, that's really sweet. I've got my little finger protectors and my finger scraper. And then my Scotty dog stickers. <laughs> so again, a little bit of a mix. Uh, mainly diamond painting, but we do like to add a Scotty in here and there. I am Scotty dog crafts after all. <laughs> okay, well, I hope uh, you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Uh, if you have, thumbs up are always much appreciated and if you have got any comments or questions if you leave them in the comments down below and i'll get back to you and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next and see me kit up the painting that has all these beautiful colors in it then if you press on that subscribe button in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up it just lets you know when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything yay okay well thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now